Don't even don't even get me started on this bullshit, dude. And then you already you 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 put a chip in it that's like half as powerful, and then you throttle the fucking uh, apps for fifty percent. Yeah, uh, minus fifty percent plus fifty uh, plus minus fifty percent was left. Was left. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. Like these people ask me, these people ask me, why do you exclusively buy Apple? Here you fucking go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed. So you better fix that right now. Or we're gonna have to take you in. Oh, but I feel like this is the, this is what we just talked about. So that's fine. Um, more react. Um, have you seen the video from MaxTag where he reviews the S8 Ultra? Samsung. Are you are you kidding me right now? You want me to you want me to look into Samsung stuff? I mean, dude, come on. But okay, I mean, let's just fucking do it. The people what decide. is the best tablet in the world? Is it Apple with their M1 iPad Pro or is it Samsung with their brand new Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra? Well, today we will find out once and for all in this detailed comparison where we're gonna compare the displays, the speakers, the performance of the CPU and graphics and more. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And just like before, we do not have a charger in the box. You just get the tablet, whereas Apple, they, even though they started this trend, they still give you one. Now, oh. holding this in my hands, I gotta say, it feels very thin. The crazy thing is that even though this is the largest tab, it is also the thinnest, which feels kind of weird but nice in your hand. But it is really nice that they include an S Pen in the box so you don't have to go and spend another 130 bucks like you do with the Apple Pencil. We'll compare the performance of these in just a sec. Now, taking a look at the tablets themselves, even though the iPad Pro is large, this thing is a lot bigger. Look how tall this is when they're in a vertical orientation. It is massive. Let me stack this up uh, right there side by side. But like, this is just a laptop, dude. Like, at least with the, with the with the iPad, I would say like, okay, it's big. It's too big, even for a tablet. It's it's too big, but it's not too, too big, right? It's just, you probably would like to have the case, like the, the keyboard case that I have right here. But the S, the, 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 the S8, whatever, that's, that's insane. That's just insanity. Yeah, you guys that's insanity. All that Mental. extra space. Now, if we go ahead and put the iPad on top, of the Ultra, it is just slightly wider, meaning that even though this Samsung Tab S8 Ultra is 14.6 inches, in reality, it is mostly because of its aspect ratio being way wider. So it's actually narrow. Now that could be good for watching videos and movies, things like that. We'll see how good it does as far as the OLED display compared to mini LED. Now, as far as cameras, Fair this enough. camera bump is quite small. It's kind of a long shape like they've been using for a while. And it does not have the LiDAR sensor that Apple's does. It just includes two lenses and a flash and we'll take some photos in a sec. And taking a look at the front, yes, the Samsung tablet now features a notch, and that's because they have two cameras there, which we will test out. But I just wanna show you guys just how this screen looks compared to the iPad. It just makes the large iPad look small when it's right next to it. The tab does have an under display fingerprint scanner. It works pretty well, seems almost like it's faster than the S8 Plus, but maybe it's just, I don't know, working better. Now I do prefer Face ID because it is automatic. You swipe up, you're logged in, or if you have the magic keyboard, you just press the space bar and it'll clear it. And if you're opening up an app, it will automatically just log you in without having to use your fingerprint. Both of these tablets have quad speakers and I'm excited to hear how good the speakers are in this ultra-sized tablet from Samsung. So let's go ahead and compare them.
All right, guys, you heard that for yourself. Okay, so 100,000%, 100,000%, 100%, the iPad Pro destroyed the whole speaker test. Like, you're not going to tell me anything else. Like, anyone, or anyone who says anything else is just... I'm going to leave that there. Go ahead and let me know down <laughs> below what your thoughts are. To me, it's evident that the iPad Pro sounds better. It is louder and it has deeper bass. It's interesting to hear some tech reviewers say, the speakers are so good in here, they beat the, out the iPad. We have a really nice $1,000 recording setup here and you guys heard that. So uh, definitely the iPad for the win there, but the Samsung still is it me or is this fucking thing reflecting as fuck, dude? What the hell? Here and you guys heard that, so uh, definitely. What the hell is this, dude? Or is it just the video? Oh, it's the video. No, it isn't. Because it's way darker here. Like, if you look at this, right? This whole room or something, I don't know. I don't know what this is in the video. It's like a very this it doesn't look like OLED because it's it's weird. It's kind of weird. Like I'm not the only one who sees this. It's kind of weird. Only the iPad for the win there. Anyways, fuck but it. The Samsung still gets pretty loud. It sounds good especially for being that thin. <sighs> Now, as far as microphone quality, this is the video from the iPad Pro using the wider mode to record. And this is kind of the quality that you can expect, of course, so you can enable the center stage feature for conferences online. But one thing that I don't like about the iPad is that the camera is over here. So it's set up for a vertical orientation, but then when you are using a keyboard case, like a lot of people do when they are recording or conferencing. Uh I like that, like he, he did do it with one hand and that is that is a skill that you, you can only do, you can only have that skill if you have used the, uh, uh, the case long enough because that's, it's hard, it's hard. And he did it with one hand. And I'm just gonna say it, Max. You're insane. You're really good. You, you're you're the man. You're the man. I'm just gonna say, by the way, now that I remember this, some of you guys, some of you guys, just tried to fuck with my man Max. Okay, my man Max on Twitter. Okay, it's fine if you disagree with his takes. Okay, it's fine. You can disagree with with his takes. You don't fuck with my guy. Okay, if you fuck with my guy, you fuck with me. Unless you. You're talking in a love relationship sense, then it's exclusive, it's exclusively him. But uh, you know what I mean. I'm talking about the 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 angry version of no 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 not the angry ver the bad. Just just don't. Okay. So leave him alone. I'm very bad in threatening people. I'm just not good at it. Um, then your camera is off to the side. Oh, and dude. So when you're looking at the person that you're talking to, it looks like you're avoiding them on camera. And this is the microphone and video quality of the Tab S8 Ultra. Now, Check. I gotta say, yeah. this 4K footage looks really crispy. The iPad only does 1080p because it has a single ultra wide camera that just crops in, where this has dual camera so you can switch from that close-up shot to a wide angle without having to use digital crop which ruins your quality and it allows for 4k recording now you guys let me know do you like this setup better um i do wish there was no notch there for that like the ipad doesn't have a notch but i think it is quite cool to have this what you're saying that this tablet the the, the s8 doesn't even hit fucking 400 nits fuck is that why would anyone do that that's literally the dumbest shit i've seen in my life yeah i mean definitely in terms of brightness it is slapping the 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 uh, the, the tap around the room it's crazy like who would have who would ever make a tablet that expensive and that big with like 400 nits of brightness uh is that peak brightness no i don't believe that that's insane that's insane. Samsung kicked up with you? Yeah. 
flexibility. So go ahead and let me know which one looked better and which one sounded better down in the comment section. Now, as far as the cameras, here are Mental. photos using the front facing selfie cameras. Go ahead and let me know if you can really tell if that digital crop on the iPad makes a big difference. And here's some comparison shots from the regular 1X camera as well as the ultra wide. Personally, to me, I'm not very impressed with those rear camera modules, but the selfie cameras do look quite good, especially that one that's more close up. But that is actually not a horrible thing because you don't really use those back cameras that often, or at least you probably shouldn't because most smartphones look better than that. Uh, but the front cameras you do use more often. And now let's go ahead and get into the displays. Both these are high resolution 120 hertz displays, but the Samsung only allows you to either choose 120 hertz or if you want standard 60 hertz to get better battery life, whereas Apple allows you to use ProMotion, which is constantly variable, keeps everything smooth and saves battery at this just this is just stupid. This is just stupid, man the same time. Now, Samsung is using an AMOLED display compared to Apple using mini LED, and that can make a pretty significant difference. First off, as far as maximum brightness, let's go ahead and crank that all the way up. I'll go ahead and adjust that top camera so it doesn't blow out. The brightness looks really close just sitting here, maxing these out. But where the iPad really comes in is when you're watching HDR content because- So it does have uh quite some brightness then i don't understand what you like because it can reach up to a thousand six hundred nits that really makes hdr video look amazing because you can have super bright highlights that what is this what am i looking at what the fuck is this what the fuck is this What is this, dude? Like, do you, you want me to take a shit on this? What, 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 what do you want me to do with this? Like, is, is this a night tablet for, for like, when, when, when you're about to go to sleep but you don't have anything to do, so you just pick up like a 15-inch fucking tablet? What the fuck is this, dude? Or like, is this thing in night mode? But this is this is the peak brightness. Are you fucking insane? Oh, fuck, dude, man, dude. Like, these people, these people are just mental. These people are just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Really pop in video. The Samsung looks pretty good, and the fact that it's OLED allows the pixels to completely shut off. Yeah, I mean, that's true, which is fine. I mean, the contrast, the contrast might be better, but, like, I can't even see the, pic the pixels that are on. <laughs> so, I mean... <laughs> I, I, it's just like, I, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't even know what that argument was, but literally, like, I have to, like, this is my problem with OLED, dude. Like, literally, like, uh, most of these OLED screens are just too low for me. I just can't do anything with this. I just don't know. I, like, do you want me to wipe my ass with this thing? Do you want me to shit on it? Uh, do you want me to use it when I have heavy diarrhea and I just need to have something to divert it into the right stream so I just put it under my ass right in the toilet so it just like flows right into the toilet and doesn't go anywhere else right so you don't have to clean the entire toilet uh, anyways fuck this uh, to give you perfect blacks and that definitely helps in darker environments but unfortunately the glass that Samsung is using is very reflective and that gives the iPad actually deeper blacks it's fucking it's reflective as well dude what is this tablet but the issue with the iPad is that sometimes you could see blooming especially if you're in lower light okay so that is true that is true and it, it is more annoying than most people think max out and when you have menu items that are white on dark, you can see that. Now, some of you guys asked for SDR video because not everybody watches HDR. And looking at them, they are a lot more similar. Uh, yeah, okay, but you can still see that this thing is le like the colors, everything is popping out of the screen. This is as high as it gets, dude, which is mental for the price that you're paying for this fucking piece of shit. And it's even bigger as well than this thing, like fuck. Now, the iPad is still a little bit brighter because the display in general can hit 600 nits compared to Samsung that advertises 400. And looking at the blacks right here, 
The blacks look a lot deeper and darker on the iPad once again because of reflectivity. Now I do have to say that it does seem like the Ultra has a nicer display than just the Tab S8 Plus. I mean, I was gonna say, <laughs> like, what the fuck? But okay, yeah, I don't know. I've not seen the Plus, so Specs look very Maybe. similar, but it does look brighter, at least more competitive to the iPad. And I also I don't know really who buys like this shit. The wider aspect ratio. Apart from the reviewing it, right? Very minimal. We get a larger image compared to the. Yeah, iPad. that's true. You get a larger Overall, image, which is fine. But if I can't see the image, then. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this thing? Display. Now, for those of you guys who take notes and draw, how do the pens compare? Well, I will say that I do think the Apple Pencil is nicer. It is heavier. It feels a lot more quality, but you got to buy it for 130 bucks compared to getting this for free in okay. the box, which True. is amazing. The performance of the Apple Pencil has always been really, really good since we got ProMotion. You can't really notice any lag or delays. And in a previous video, we showed off some slow motion footage, how the S Pen really lagged. Now, some of you guys commented and said that we need to go into the Notes app manually to actually get the full performance of this S Pen that has been updated to have even less latency than the Apple Pencil. Why? So here you go. I went in here, super, super smooth, no delay whatsoever. Okay, fair so enough. But why do you have good, to be in the physical um, app to I really use that? I really have no complaints. Samsung did an excellent job and they included this in the box. I guess my only complaint is that this performance is not system wide like yeah. it is with the iPad. Like, and now fuck? let's get into performance. Boom. The first thing that I want to test there is we have the it. speed of the Fucking storage go. with these devices. Both are Fucking 250 go. gigabyte models or so. So let's go ahead and start our test. The iPad's already done with 2,782 read and 2,245 write. Holy Incredible shit. performance, and that is needed because Quite high. Uh, this iPad has a Thunderbolt Quite port. High. So if you're gonna be transferring files, Thunderbolt. you want the performance. So Apple did spend the money to get really fast storage. And here you go, for the Samsung, we have 1,300 read and 639 write. That's over two times faster as far as read and three and a half times faster in terms of write. So you're definitely getting your money's worth. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, I am going to look up the price for this fucking thing. Uh, is it the Tap S8 Ultra? This is mental. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get the fuck away from me, dude. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is the original? What, what is the what is the full price? Because this is fu this is fucking bullshit. This is the tap. I uh, this this is mental. Okay. Okay. So this is the price in euros of the. Fucking uh, tab S8 Ultra. I'm done with this. Fam. I am. I'm. I'm losing it right now. I'm fucking losing it. I, I can't. I can't. I can't have this right now. I. I can't. This mental. I want to see the price. So if I go for a fucking iPad Pro right now, fucking iPad Pro, and um, I'm losing it. I'm. I'm losing it. He, he, like, okay. Okay. What was the storage on that thing? Okay, cool. I'm going with the same storage. We're going for. Okay, so you're gonna tell me that for seventy euros less, I can get a tablet that is inferior to even like a like I I don't know toilet paper, <laughs> like literally what the. F Fuck's going on, dude? What the f fuck is this shit? It's a fucking fourteen that six inch fucking tablet. And I can't even get four hundred in its brightness, and it doesn't even have a fucking SSD that can fucking get. Okay, I am. I'm dead. 
I just died. I, you don't have to talk to me. Fuck With this, the dude. IPad this is dumb. Is this competition Samsung, or is this fucking is dumb? Slower. And then, of course, you just have that USB Type C port, which Actually, means that you can't hook up to a hub or an adapter that gives you a lot more. Doesn't ports, even have down the board. Have you much slower fucking... uh, transfer speeds and things like that. Now, what about the processor performance? We exactly. have the latest it's Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. Exactly. This is the creme de la creme. The creme de la creme. From our friends over at Qualcomm. And I can tell you this. If this sucks, Samsung, you better, you, you, you better just not talk to me ever again. Just fucking never talk to me again, dude. I just, I don't want to know. I, like, just assume that I do not want to know. Just don't send me any emails. Just cut me out of everything. If this doesn't even fucking match the chip, we were talking about a 70 euro fucking difference. This is ridiculous? Yeah, it is ridiculous. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Compared to the legendary M1 and here in Geekbench 5, well, we have a significant difference. The iPad's single core performance <laughs> is Samsung doing I I just I what the fuck is this dude like why are people why would you why why would you even consider why would you even consider picking this thing up why would you even fucking consider picking this thing up no, the benchmark, they, they don't matter. The benchmarks don't matter. They do matter if they are 50% higher. <laughs> Sorry, 100% higher. <laughs> it's fucking times two, dude. Times two. Double what the latest Snapdragon offers in this tablet, and the multi core performance is about 2.2 times. Oh my god! I, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I literally don't, I've, I, I don't know what to say. Ha ha ha, Mitch was losing it. Yeah, I'm, I am losing it because this is literally the dumbest shit I've seen in my life. This is competition, dude. This is... Oh, competition is good. Yeah. I can see that, right? I can fucking see that. Like, it, like this is... It's it's half as powerful, dude. And then if it's... If it fucking throttles for 50% as well, over 50%, right? The 10k apps. Then you like, what the fuck? It, what, what, what is left? <laughs> what is left? Why, why would you... Why would you even... Why would you even consider? Why would you even consider? Right? It's it's so s stupid, mate. It's so stupid. Like you like it it it's already throttling and then you already you 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 put a chip in it that's like half as powerful and then you throttle the fucking uh, apps for 50%. Yeah, fi uh, -50% plus 50% plus minus 50% was left. What's left? Like... I... I just... I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. Like, these people ask me... These people ask me... 
Why do you exclusively buy Apple? Here you fucking go. So that is a huge, huge difference in performance. I feel like Qualcomm really needs a processor that's designed for the desktop that has more power. Uh, and yes, this is a thin device, but the iPad is pretty much the same thickness, maybe ever so slightly thicker, and it's getting this performance. Now, what are a few tests that we didn't like? <laughs> it stacks like debuffs. Yeah, it does. Fuck me, man. Last time with the Tab S8 Plus, so I have Geekbench's machine learning benchmark here. It's gonna test out what these can do as far as machine learning. And you guys know a lot of that is now being used for image processing, audio, there's a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and run this benchmark. All right, and we have our results and it's a pretty big difference. We have 1,017 here and 457. I am dead. Don't even, don't even get me started on this bullshit, dude. Don't even get me, ne never, never ever send me this fucking shit again. <laughs> no, that's unfair to, 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 to Max. Max is doing a great job. This is not about Max. This is about a company that is too lazy, too lazy to build their own good chips because they have Axonus. They have Axonus. And you know, you want to know what I want to do with Axonus? I don't even want to. I don't even want to wipe my ass with it. That's how bad it is. I, I literally, like, if I accidentally shit on a Axonus chip, I will remove my shit from that chip and probably even clean it off it because it's not, it's not a word of, like, laying there under my shit. That's, that's how bad it is. It is bad. It is bad. It is very bad. It is so bad that if you would look at the battery performance of the uh, new... Uh, uh, ultra uh, phone that they have is actually worse than the previous Ultra phone. Right? Which was Mr. Roos the Bus who is in the UK, so I feel like it's probably an Exynos chip. And if it isn't, then Qualcomm is just dead. It's just done. Like, why don't you guys just close office, dude? Like, what the fuck are you guys still doing in the office? Like, what the fuck is going on? What, what are you guys doing, dude? Like, literally, what is this? You're making people pay like almost 1200 euros for this well, the numbers they don't matter no <laughs> okay cool tell that to every other android user okay why why do you think uh, samsung is pumping the fucking phone full of fucking specs every single fucking year like 12 gigabytes of ram fucking nasa uh, uh, fucking computers in your fucking pocket dude what the fuck are you guys doing or the tab s8 ultra now, as far as graphics, last time we ran 3D Marks Wildlife. This time, I'm gonna use GFX Bench, and we're gonna run the very popular Aztec Ruins, the off-screen test. That way, there's no difference in resolution that could affect it. And bam, we have our results. And the M1 iPad scored 82.2 frames per second compared to 38. Now, of course, this is one test and there are differences in the real world. We have thermal differences. So Vadim is gonna be doing a gaming test where he actually has it connected to another computer that is monitoring the frame rates and it will be able to show you guys that real time. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you guys- Yeah, I definitely wanna see that because like, obviously a lot of people are gonna scream at me like, oh, real life performance did that, did that, any other. But, like, I understand that, especially when it's fresh out of the box, that you're not going to notice that it's not it's half as fast. Wait until you have, like, three years of updates in it, fam, okay? Wait until you have that. Then you will start noticing the difference in fucking performance. Obviously, out of the box, they, these people have tested it a thousand times, right? Like, they're, they're not complete idiots. So, just fresh out of the box, like, the first year, you're not going to notice anything. After three years of updates, call me back. Okay, call me back fam. You guys are subscribed. So we definitely know that the iPad is the more powerful tablet by far with the M1 processor, with the Thunderbolt port, with that fast storage. So what does the Samsung do well or what are the standout features? Well, we have an SD card slot where you can put in your own storage, of course.
imagine you're sitting in your room and you have a moment in life where you feel like your tablet's storage isn't slow enough. So you're like, I'm one of the lucky people who bought a tablet that is about 70 euros cheaper. So now I can spend that 70 euros into an SD card that is going to make the storage even slower. Well, not the current storage, but the storage that you put into it. It's even slower than the storage that they gave you. You want to know why storage at Apple is more expensive? So when you fucking upgrade the SSD, it's expensive. It's because it's storage where you can actually work with it. Right? It's storage that is actually like, it's going as fast as the sun, as the light, as the flipping fire that's burning in your freaking veins. I'm not even sure what I'm saying. But I, what I'm trying to say is that it's because it's fast storage, right? That's why it's more expensive. So if you upgrade your little S tablet or whatever the flip it co it's called and you upgrade the internal SSDs and you're sitting there like, oh, look at how cheap this is, right? I can just upgrade my SSD here. And uh, when I do that with the Apple stuff, it's so expensive. Yeah, it's because it's actual fast SSD storage. Not the fucking... I don't even know what the fuck that is, dude. I don't even know what they put into this thing. It's literally this is a disaster. It's a disaster. It's it's literally. I don't even know. I I don't even know what to say about this. I I literally like. I know I'm joking and I'm making loads of jokes, but like in reality, I literally I don't know, dude. This is this. It's it's disgusting. It's mental. I've never seen this. This is dumb. And this thing released even like a year. No, not a year, but like six months after the fucking. Uh, iPad Pro. That's mental. That's mental. It is mental. I don't even know how many months this is. It's a lot of months, okay? Fuck me. I know these things are in development for a really long time, right? But come on, dude. What the fuck? Of course, it's not going to be even as fast as internal storage here, but that can save you a lot of money instead of having to buy it built in. Uh, and charging a lot. Yeah, so Max even said it himself. Like, obviously, this is not like I'm not. This is not a dig at Max. Obviously, no. I love Max. I'm just talking about the tablet, right? It's just like imagine sitting at your in your fucking room and you're like, I, I just want, I just want the storage to be slower, dude. This is what I need. That's what I need a lot in life. I just want if I if I tap on a picture, right? I want it to take an hour before it loads in. I want it to be at the in the old days when you had to call in for internet. You remember that? You remember those days when you had to call in for internet and when you when when you even for a second disconnect that line dude whatever you're loading in it's done it's flipping done and you already spent like 10 euros on that internet right there but it's done man it's done it doesn't matter that's that's the experience that you want right now dude why don't you fucking just buy a pentium computer <laughs> it's like what is this dude what the fuck like Apple does with their iPad. Now, along with that, you have Dex. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the keyboard for this to set it up like I did last time, but here's some footage from um, the Tab S8 Plus, and Dex gives you so much flexibility to be able to use it as a desktop operating system. You can connect it to a display. There are no limitations with Android and with Dex, whereas with the iPad, like I talked about in my full review, Apple is really locking down iPad OS. There are so many little things. So this is true. This is something that I actually like. This is this is legit criticism for Apple. And I feel like this is so it's so weird. I, I understand that they want to sell you a Mac. But come on guys, like you can you can you can you can lift some limitations, right? Come on. This is this is just mental. But uh yeah. It's, this is just it is legit criticism and Apple has to work on this. But you're not gonna tell me that that is anywhere near the problems that I just saw with this fucking tablet. It's only seven, uh, 70 euros cheaper. That's mental. But I, this is a legit point. And Max, I, that's why I like Max. He's he's quite balanced in his storytelling. He 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 does get um, he does get the philosophy from Apple, but he also likes to be critical of them. And that's 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 fine, right? It's it's a company. It's not it's not God. It's not perfect things that you can't do and that don't work for example external monitor support that you could just connect your stuff is cut off and it doesn't make sense because on the ipad you can change uh, change your like i can literally see every single like 
hair <laughs> on his arm in this fucking tablet. That's how reflective it is. It's insane. Like, what, what, what are we doing? I know I'm complaining a lot about this thing, but I'm just... I, pff, what the flipping fuck is this shit, dude? Your uh, split view and everything adjusts <laughs> properly. Yeah, so anti humiliation. Apple just does yeah. not want this to be a laptop replacement, where with the tab, it pretty much is, even though it doesn't have the performance. Now, unfortunately, because this is a new size, those keyboards were sold out quickly, and that was a bummer considering that Samsung is charging $350 for I mean, that keyboard. Key. I mean, this, yeah. I, this is quite high, but I mean, we're we're. I feel like we're not too far off, or maybe even more expensive here in in, in Apple land. So I'm not sure. Which is insane. I complained about it with Apple's Magic yeah. Keyboard. Oh, case, it's the same. Okay. But at least with this, even though I <laughs> still think it's, it's overpriced, mental, you have this nice hinge. It floats, and the trackpad is excellent. It's not a diving board design. And then you get the extra port to be able to charge up while you're using your Thunderbolt port. And Samsung's keyboard is not as nice, but they're selling it also for 350 bucks and people are buying it. But with all of that said, which one of these tablets is the best tablet in the world? And honestly, once we've seen the performance, we saw how the screen compares, I think that even Android fanboys even the battery life. I mean, this is, it's not as bad as the other scores, right? But still, have fuck to admit me. admit that the iPad with the M1 is the king of all yeah. tablets. There's not no other conclusion, dude. This is mental. Nits display. You also have the better speakers. We have uh, the cameras that are better on the back with LiDAR. You also have incredible performance, the storage. It is a nice, nice machine. It's just a shame that Apple limits iPad OS so much. It has True. so much potential, but they still want you to buy a MacBook. Well, you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Check out one of those great videos right over there. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, I feel like, oh, uh, excuse me. I feel like this is very, is uh, uh, this is a very good video. I really enjoyed this video. It's a really good one. And, um, yeah, I would say that he's just completely right. He's just completely right. This is just a shame. And for every Apple fan out there, I feel like you guys deserve better. Like, uh, I understand that you guys want to defend uh, Android for, like, whatever. Just like how <laughs> probably most people here are, are going to defend iOS for whatever. Um, but you guys just deserve better. This is insane. This is mental. And like, like I said, like, directly out of the box, you're not going to notice these numbers, right? Obviously, like everyone says... Numbers are numbers, but wait three years and you, 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 you're going to wish you had something else. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am tired. I'm going to head off. <laughs>